Today we're making homemade chicken noodle soup. So the first thing you want to do is medium dice up a large yellow onion. Next, move to your celery. Remember that your celery does not have to be uniform in size. They're all going to go in your soup anyway, so it's okay if they're different sizes. Next, chop up your carrots. You can use whole carrots for this part, but I had baby carrots in my fridge, so I used those instead. Okay guys, don't forget this step. You really need to wash your chicken, please. When you wash your chicken, make sure you use warm water and distilled white vinegar. And what this does is it removes any blood that may be left over, any debris, any bacteria. You just wanna get all of that off before you start cooking your chicken. Also, don't forget to clean your sink and counters. Clean it really well with dish soap and then you wanna go back and sanitize with bleach. Now let your oil heat up in your pot and add your carrots, celery, and onion and let that cook until they begin to get soft. Now you're going to add in your minced garlic and be sure to stir that around and watch it carefully because garlic does burn pretty quickly. Add in one quart of chicken broth and one quart of low sodium vegetable broth. And now it's time to add your herbs, your spices, and your noodles. Now we're going to sear our chicken breast to add to our soup. So if you'd like, you can purchase already prepared chicken from Sam's or Costco or wherever you get your rotisserie chicken from. But I had chicken breasts on hand, so I decided to go ahead and cook them and add them to the soup. Once your chicken is fully cooked, dice it into medium sized pieces and add it to your soup. Don't be alarmed that your soup has started to thicken. The starch just released from the noodles and it created a better consistency for your soup. Put your soup in a nice bowl and there you have it, homemade chicken noodle soup.